Hey guys, I'm LB, and Toxic Games and Trapped Nerve have come together with Unreal Engine to bring us... Cube 2! Yes. I was not expecting Cube to have a sequel. And, uh, after my thoughts on Cube 1, well, I was very much not a fan of the physics. And, uh, so that was... That was generally not a good time in Cube 1 with the physics puzzle that was considered the hardest puzzle in the game, but it would have been easy if the physics would have cooperated. But I have heard from Demon Arisen and others that this game is much better. Not not necessarily a great puzzle game, but definitely much better than Cube 1, and I'm very much looking forward to that. So, I have all the video settings cranked to maximum, which we're probably not going to be able to keep them there, but we'll see. We shall see. the screen is supposed to be black. Okay, it was. Okay, I can kind of camera control here. Can't move though, but I can just look around. I think we're not good for tonight. Well, this isn't good. I can't... Oh, I can move! Oh, I thought I couldn't move, but apparently I can. Interesting. It's a very, very blurry in this storm. Oh, and... Anyone... Help me. Well, this isn't good. Please. At this rate, we're gonna get struck by lightning. Which character are we playing as? The character from the first game, or... Or a new character? That's what I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Are we being dragged, or...? I love the hand inside the two there, that's great. Oh, and it over also overlaps the E a little bit, I think. That's a great logo. Mayday. This is Commander Emma Sutcliffe of the Vitruvius mission. I am stranded in an unknown location following mission success. Are there any survivors out there? Hello? This is Dr. Amelia Cross. I... I'm, I'm picking up your signal. I repeat, I am reading you clearly. Please, I... I don't know what's happened, but I need help. Try and remain calm. Your systems are slightly damaged. I can't identify what your rank was, either. Looks like you're suffering from cryogenic-induced amnesia. What? Alright, I'm seeing some screen tearing on my end, so I'm going to pause here for a moment and check the recording to make sure it's okay. Sorry for the interruption. Right, the recording looks good. Back to the game. What are you talking about? You must have been part of Vitruvius, tasked with destroying the cube. Damn. The escape pods must have brought us both back to the origin planet. That life suit you're wearing, you can manipulate the cubic structures with it. We used the same design to destroy an extraterrestrial object that was on a collision course with Earth. You may not remember, but if you listen to me and do as I say, we may actually make it back home. Do you understand me? I... I don't know what the hell is going on, but... Just tell me what I need to do. Okay. I've detected a human distress beacon coming from the peak of the structure you're in. Your signal is weak because of this blasted sandstorm. I can't lock onto you. That beacon is above the storm. If you can just make it there, you should be clear. If you rendezvous with any other survivors, I should be able to use my teleporter to extract us all and get home. Right. Okay. I think I can do that. Man, the graphics look amazing. Like I said, I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep the graphics at 
the maximum settings like this, but we shall see. Right, my mouse sensitivity is absolutely terrible. Let's- let's fix that real quick. Is that in general? Uh, yes, indeed it is. Let's put that up to like, I don't know, 75 each? It's interesting that they give you separate options for X and Y. Much better. Much, much better. Now I don't have to move my mouse all the way across the mouse pad. Is there a sprint key? Probably not yet, but, uh, there is a jump. We can jump. So there's that much going for us. But this is about the fastest I can walk right now. I guess I was supposed to be walking the whole time. Yeah. Imagine if Cube 1 had looked like this. Wow. <laughs> We definitely went all out on the graphics, it seems. Interesting. Did these doors wait for me to approach before they open? Why so many doors? Right, can't jump back up here. Gotcha. Use the gloves you are wearing to change the structure around you. You should have access to the launch pad function, co-colored blue. Try placing one on any white cubes that have a frame using your left glove, then stand on it. Interesting. So we start off with the mechanics that we had at the end of cube one. <laughs> <laughs> the arm you wave. Get used to it. it may just save your life in here. Listen, I'm losing signal because of the storm. Keep climbing upwards. Contact me if you find anything strange. Hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. God, what have I got myself into? <laughs> <laughs> that arm wave. It's gonna get me every time. <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. Oh, man. <laughs> At least there's nice little... mats, movie-style landing mats for us to land on so we don't injure ourselves. Guess we don't have long fall boots. What does that icon mean? Ah, so right toggles a cube that's already been placed. Gotcha. Anything else here? Not particularly. Hmm. Am I supposed to just jump when it moves? I guess so. Gotcha. I have heard that the puzzles are either not very difficult, or that they're reasonable difficulty for people who are new to puzzle games. So we shall see. Might be breezing through this, or I might get stuck a couple times. But one of the reviews I read said that they didn't get stick- they didn't get stuck at all, except for like one time where they got stuck for 30 seconds. We shall see for ourselves. What do we have around here? It feels like the field of view is very low, even though it's set to 90, which is the same as Portal 2, so I'm not sure why the field of view is so low. Whee! Oh, that's interesting. There's a whole dedicated landing animation. Oh, I didn't even see these, whoops! <laughs> I didn't have to jump from that block at all. Alright, let's try this again, perhaps. Emma, I've... I found something. Still no signal. Interesting. Is this gonna give me the red power? My guess is yes. Ooh, that's the uh, interesting glitchy screen there. Does that mean we're a robot or is that just for effect? Code colored red enabled. Recommended action. Place red cube on white panel. What the why would these be here? 
Why indeed? I've heard this door is not too great, but whatever. We'll get used to it, I'm sure. Uh... Did it say something about switching colors? If it said something about switching colors, then, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Oops. Let's check the controls real quick. Options. Controls. Uh... Inventory previous? Inventory next? Oh, mouse wheel. Ah, oh, there we go. Mouse wheel. Okay. There we go. I just missed that prompt on the screen for a moment. Up we go. Can only have it placed in one spot, interestingly. I wonder if we're gonna get the ability to place it in multiple spots at once at any point. Do that. Oops. Extend it. And then walk back around. We can have one of each, right? Yes, we can have one of each. No dedicated animation for that, huh? Basic tutorial stuff. Getting people used to it for those who haven't played the first game. Interesting. Let me guess, more dialogue? Nope, just a load screen. Chapter 2, The Ropes. we have here? Wait, how come sometimes it's left-click to interact and other times it's right-click? Cause this is right-click, but when we got the new power-up, it was left-click. Interesting. That's a weird inconsistency. What do we have out here? Oh, so this is just a light. I thought that was a window to the outside. <laughs> also, there were secrets in Cube 1. There were, like, offshoots to other areas that you could go to. I don't know if we've missed any yet, necessarily. Probably not this early in the game, but... We gotta keep an eye out, just in case we see anything like that. That looks like an audio log from The Witness. <laughs> just tried to zoom in on it with scroll wheel, and ended up changing colors instead. Nope. Do that, please. Thank you. There's no interact on the blue ones. We can't toggle the blue ones like we could in Cube 1, they're just automatically a bounce pad. Hmm. Ha! Neat. Right, I was wondering where they would go next, because, uh, in Cube 1 they had the rotating stuff, but there was only so much you could do with rotation, so now we have translation. Surprise, translation took until the second game. What does this do? Just look, raises that up and down? Gotcha. What the heck is going on with the- the light effects here? Lens- the lens flares and glares and stuff? That's crazy. <laughs> right, well, let's just try the obvious thing first. Yep, that works. Then we can go up here... ...and do this. There we go. Millie! Can you hear me? Emma! Reading you loud and clear. Making progress, I think. Good. Listen, I wanted to ask, what do you remember before waking up? I don't. Not really. I think I was heading towards a job, a dig site in Scotland. I was in a helicopter with my team. And you don't remember what happened? No, I don't. Are you interrogating me, Emma? Because it sure as hell feels like it. No, it doesn't. Emma? God damn it, this stupid thing. I best continue. That didn't feel like an interrogation. What is wrong with my character? Huh. I'm not really sure what's going on with the character's interpretation of that dialogue there. I mean, that's a reasonable thing to ask. You know, what do you remember? And clearly you have memory loss, so why wouldn't they be asking that? 
All right. Oops. Come on. Oh, that's not enough, huh? Oh. Oh. That's why it's not enough. There we go. Let's do that first, please. There we go. Interesting, so it creates a little spark wherever I right-click. Sometimes. Yeah, makes a little spark. Interesting. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it creates a spark, not always. Left or right-click. Right, on to the next. What are these blue fields? Well, they don't- they don't hurt me, so that's good. I don't think we even have health in this game. House of Leaves. Oh, another type. Hello! Gelatinous green cube. Interesting. It's like the structure itself can duplicate and grow. Ta da! It's like magic. Alright, where to next? Let me guess. Gotta do that. And now we can get up. Excellent. Good old tutorialization. It's very dark in here. Not good for video compression. Oh, a nice map for us to land on. How nice. Is there anything up in this corner? I'm always gonna check because you never know when we might be missing an easter egg or a secret puzzle or something. I don't actually know if there's secret puzzles in this game, but there were in Cube 1, so I'm going to check. Well, that's... very obviously going to be a bounce pad. I think it's safe to assume that all these diagonal ones we see are just gonna be a bounce pad. That might change later, but for now that's what I'm going to assume. What do we want to do with that? Oh, we can move where it drops it. <laughs> hmm. So we can... Oh, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. How about we try bouncing it instead? Oops. Whoops! <laughs> let's, uh... <laughs> let's try that again, shall we? There we go. Oops. Okay, I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> I know what I have to do, I'm just being derpy about it. Come on. That is very satisfying. There we go. Right. <laughs> the arm flail gets me every time. Excellent. Interesting. I have to jump over this if I want to go back. Is there anything around here? Not particularly. Fizzlers? Are these fizzlers that I see? With my eyes? What do we have going on here? Oh, we can kinda... We can see a reflection, and... The truth has been revealed, our character is literally just a pair of floating hands. We have no body, no face, no legs. We are literally a pair of floating hands. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, why would you add reflections in a place where you're not meant to see your reflection? <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's do this. Maybe that'll be useful somehow. Not particularly. Let's try that. 
Aha! That does do what I thought it would. And these are... What's the difference between these... and these? I guess we're gonna find out, right? Maybe the cube can pass through these, but not these? Huh. Well, first of all, let's bring this over here. There we go. That solves that problem. If I had to hazard a guess, I think we can't... Yeah, this blocks us from using our tool, whereas these don't block us from using our tool. Gotcha. This is very, very shiny chrome. Which doesn't quite look right in some places, but whatever. Hmm. I think... that that should be pretty straightforward, right? Oh, it centered the cube for me! How nice! Hmm. Oh, that- that doesn't quite work how I expected it to. Huh. Can I jump on the cube? Yes, I can! Haha! <laughs> there you go. Oh, but it does seem like I need the cube to get up here. Alright. Well... What I was, what, what's the point of moving it in this direction? Oh, there's other bounce pads there. Gotcha. Hello! Ta-da! Made it. Wait, secrets? Any secrets? Not that I can see. Why are there so many spots, though? Huh. Interesting. Not sure what the point of this is other than to be a transition area, I guess. This is nice looking. This is normally where a secret would be hidden. This is just a shadow. Gotcha. And this is... Nothing. There's nothing here but lovely music. I still think the Talos Principle almost- I've heard that the music in this game is good. Ooh! We're about to reach the surface. That's right, I forgot that there's surface screenshots on the Steam page. Not Windows Surface, but you know what I mean. Gotta check all the corners. I don't want to miss out on a secret puzzle. Well, nothing here. I mean, this is like the exact perfect place to hide stuff, even. Nothing? Alright, well, that's disappointing. Let's get a move on, then. Is there really not a sprint key? Emma, can you read me? I'm reading you. Are you alright? I've come across an exterior space. The storm has cleared up and, well, there's life here. There's water and plants. That's... unexpected. This doesn't look accidental, either. The structure of the space, the organization of it, it looks purposeful. It reminds me of my husband. <laughs> In what way? Oh, he, um, he works with plants. You should move on, Millie, before another storm comes. Agreed. Speak soon. Didn't you have questions earlier that you wanted to ask? And now you've decided not to ask those questions? Alright. Well, this looks pretty lovely, though. Look at the, the light rays refracting. And reflecting, and diffracting, and diffusing. I'm sure some combination of those words is correct. Interesting. So that's the outside desert that I guess the other character, or maybe we were the same character, maybe that's where we were? What's that over there? That looks like stuff. I don't have my hands on screen right now. That's weird. Why are my hands not on screen? That reflection doesn't exactly look proper. Let me- let me- let me just... What's going on here? Video? 
everything is cranked to ultra. So... Hmm... Hmm... That's... Yeah, that is definitely not right. <laughs> What's going on... What's going on with the laser beam reflection things? Something about- okay, let's just ignore that. Let's- let's get to move on. Is there anything in this tree? Do I need to knock twice? Nope, I can set the tree on fire with my sparks, but nothing else of interest. Why is this walk speed so slow, though? I tried to click to open the door, I forgot it's automatic. It's so dark in here, can't hardly see a thing. Alright, where are we now? So this is just like the generic Portal 2 elevator equivalent room, basically. New power! Go figure. Oh, that's an interesting idle animation. I don't think I've seen that one before, or maybe I- maybe I have and I just didn't notice. What happens if we try to go on without that power? I'm curious. Literally cannot. Good. <laughs> that would be funny, though. See, this is left mouse button to interact, and everything else is right mouse button to interact. Maybe the heads-up display we're wearing is glitching out? I'm not really sure what's up with the glitchiness. Recommended action. Place screen cube on white panel. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's your reaction? I mean, you've gone through that process before, and your reaction is incredible. The thing that did exactly what I expected it to do did exactly what I expected it to do. I've heard that the writing's not great, but that's fine. <laughs> it's funny in its own way. All right. Get up your cube. Alright, I need to... do that first. There we go. Problem solved. Right, anything of interest around here? What's in this back corner here? This looks like a place to hide something. And it's a place to hide nothing. That is where they hid all the nothing. All the nothing was hidden there. I'm sure we'll find more nothing that they forgot to hide. Right. What might we want to do here? Can I do that? No, it doesn't stay up there. But what happens if I change it? Oh, it gets rid of it. Okay, so if the original tile that created the cube goes away, so does the cube. Gotcha. Are we gonna, like, step ladder with the cube here? Then... then what? Yep, that kinda... kinda did what I expected it to. Ah, but then I can do this. Alright, that works. There we go. Whee! So we can indeed step ladder with the cube. Good to note. What's that up there? I would like to get up there, please. Tell me how to do these things. Can I... Can I jump on this? Not particularly. Oh, I can get up here. And that's it. The jumping in this game is really weird. Like... How did I circle... I, I circle jumped there! I don't know how I did that! Okay, well... We can't get up there. So... Let's just get a move on, then. Does that mean I'm nearly at the top? Not quite. These structures, all paths should lead to a central core. 
If you get there, we can figure out the best way to get you to the peak. How do you know all of this? We trained for a long time, Millie. So what do you think these structures are? Well, we know they have internal machinations and seem to perform tasks with no need for external input. A cybernetic system of sorts, reacting and adapting. The gloves were built to change that, or at least divert its functions temporarily. But what's their purpose? All I know is that we had to stop that vessel from colliding with Earth. The structure you're in? God knows what they're used for. Anyway, let's focus on finding that beacon as soon as possible. Yep. Just about the same level of writing as Cube Director's Cut. So, I think, I think we're gonna stop here for this episode. I will check the recording to make sure that everything is turning out smooth, but, uh, yeah, let's, let's cut it off here. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!